Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? I hope you've been enjoying my waiting room. I really like it. It's it's super simple. It's it's better than the one that I, that I have on my uh, my creative world, the, the village world. <laughs> Uh, I did add a few little things that, that move around, of course. So we got some cog wheels and then some shaft and stuff like that. It's all linked up behind the scenes. Um, and it's not that useful beyond just, you know, uh, just being there and, and moving, bringing life into the room. So I hope everyone's doing great tonight, I'm doing good myself, I'm pretty tired, but you know, sometimes you just have to stream and, and, and enjoy doing the things that you like, you know? So we have some uh, very, very simple and, and chill plans for today. We are going to go and grab a few um, amethyst buds because there is an amethyst geode in the way uh, where I'm uh, gathering some types of stone so I'm just gonna destroy the entire thing but I'm gonna steal like a few few budding amethysts down there so that's the plan for uh, the beginning of the episode so let's head there. Wait, am I forgetting something? Of course I'm forgetting something. Of course I am, obviously. Let's just jump back. I really need to make this <laughs> this uh, cheap little staircase here. I need to make it a, a bit better. Uh, well, same for this one here, but we're gonna put stuff inside there eventually, so... It's not that big of a deal, that one. Uh, so we need... There's a lever right here. It's there for that. Uh, am I forgetting something else? Just, you know, just to be sure. <laughs> okay, that should be good. So, as far as I know, I think we can grab budding amethysts with uh, minecart contraptions. I think. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna assume. We can. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Ah. Uh, just the right time to get that. So let's head over there. That's uh, some of my mining area. So there are a few, a few new blocks that we have, a few decorative blocks that we have in uh, with uh, create, and they come in those weird, weirdly shaped veins uh, that like. You can mine them by hand, but it's it's really not the best. It's better to have a machine to do that for you. So like, let's take a look. We got some viridium here. So like, look at the shape of those veins. It's it's such a pain to gather manually. It's way better to just get a machine that will just plow through the entire thing and grab everything you uh, you could ever need. Um, so. Up there, there's going to be the place where I've gathered my crimsite. Uh, there's also some calcite and limestone, so that's pretty cool. Once I've cleared out <clears throat> the geode, I'm going to be able to... Uh, that. I'm going to be able to uh, gather the whole, uh, all of that. And we got kind of see it up there. There's some crimsite here and there, so I think I will... The, uh, I will have run out of, uh, or I will have exploited the entire thing, although there seems to be some more up there, hidden under that tough and slate. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Uh, so, how these things work. Let's shovel. Purchase is useful though. We place a rail. Here and a cart assembler. Do remove that one as well. So basically, what this does is you put a minecart in it, and if you power it, it's gonna grab whatever blocks right on top, and then you can. Mystical forces 
finding this card contraption to the world. That what I was afraid of. Um, that might mean that I could be able to. Where did I get those? Eh, whatever. Um, okay, so I can move them. But I won't be able to. Ah, that's annoying. I won't be able to just remove the entire thing in one go. Uh, but I will still be able to do something if you put the unpowered. Ah, oh, why? Okay. Sorry about that. I'm not sure how I. Why I couldn't grab it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? No, I was thinking that my music is super loud. Is it better? I hope it is. I hope it is. Um, so yeah, uh, I've seen earlier today, I've seen Callie struggling with a uh, zombie spawner, so I think it might be the same kind of issues. Um, it's, not, it's really not that big of a deal, because I can still, like, push the minecart around. I would need a bit more rails, though. More rails would be a lot useful. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my home and grab more rails. Because, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be as easy as I expected. Sadly. That's the annoying part, is it's, it's a pretty long walk. At least I don't have to go there super often, or go back and forth super often, because, yeah, kind of a long walk. Uh, but at least, like, when I'm mining with my big machine, I can, uh, I can just um, fill it. It's got an inventory, and I can fill it completely before coming back, so that makes things a whole lot easier. I can go that way, it's gonna be a bit faster I think. So yeah, that's my uh, big machine to uh, dig all the blocks that I could need. Uh, we might work on it a bit later today. We might need to work, or we need, we might get to work on it. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. That should be good enough. I won't really need to go too far with that. Just gonna put them all in the same spot, the same bunch, and then we're gonna figure out how to, uh, how to move them around, if we can break the, uh, the minecart or not. Because I haven't seen how that problem was solved. I know the problem was solved, but I haven't seen how it was solved. Um, but yeah, basically, Kelly managed to get a uh, a, uh, a bunch of zombie spawners and put them in one of her builds. So she has a, uh, a uh, zombie farm with a few spawners in the same spot in uh, inside her base, like without having to go super far. Cool that we get to do that with amethysts or uh, budding amethysts, but yeah, not sure how exactly I can get it to to uh, allow me to break the contraption. Um, yeah, that's a good spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one here. Uh, we need a block underneath here. We need that and that. And a mine cart. There we go. Uh, now we need just the track that way and here yeah perfect 
I'm gonna stop here. Uh, now, how do we get this thing moving? Oh, can I just... Yeah, perfect. I can just break it like that. It works. Come on. Move. Oh, there's no rail here. Oops. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can put it here. We won't actually need the torches. Uh, I can, I'm gonna keep the track here because that's where it needs to be. Or actually, no, no, it doesn't need to go there. And I need to go. Um, so how many should I take? I'm guessing eight would be a good number since I'm gonna bring them up to my base and. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's, it should be good enough with eight. Like they're gonna be almost permanently loaded, so we're gonna get a good farm going. Uh, are there a few? Yeah, you are like in a bunch here. It's gonna be a bit easier to grab them, but that's why I brought my glue. Uh, you can grab more than one at a time uh, by gluing them all together. Uh, now I'm breaking bucks I shouldn't be breaking. Um, oh, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's that's good. That is good enough. So, I'm gonna put oops, this here, this here. I need to make a little path. The other, the other thingies, the other budding amethysts. Um, put the light guard here right away. Uh, and let's go. Those. That's so all of that is glued together, so it should all move. Yep, great. Um, now I'm feeling a bit stupid because I didn't actually bring any powered rails, which would have been like a very good choice. Powered rails would have been good for that, and I can't really figure out why I didn't bring any. So how am I gonna move this thing? Okay, now I'm stuck. Everything's going <laughs> exactly to plan. Um, should I put it the other way around? I'm gonna try and... Wait, just gonna break all of that. So I lose nothing. Um, if I put it like that, did I lose any? No, I did not. Oof. Okay, close call. But I think I didn't lose any. I hope I did. Okay, yeah, that, that should be good. Um, but what I want is for that to be in front that way I can push it like this so um, no get in my inventory thank you uh, no this rail cannot be there so I put it like that it's, is it gonna work will it work
Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's good. Working, kind of, according to plan. I'm gonna move them all out here. Move this entire bunch and then I'm gonna grab them one at a time. Then I'm gonna grab them one at a time to move them inside that little bunch there. Okay. We got a plan that might work. Hopefully. Stop. Moving around. Thank you. Uh, we can... Oh, it's already broken. Okay. Perfect. Now. Let's remove all of that blue. We won't need it anymore. Go that. There we go. Uh, we can break all that. That's perfect. So... Uh, 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 uh. What I actually need to do is just to assemble them so that they go. I got two here, so if we assemble them so that there's two here and four on top. That should be perfect. Uh, so let's grab these ones first, actually. But I'm gonna need that. Thank you. I grab these two. Put them here. This one's gonna go there. This one's gonna go there. Yeah, perfect. It's kind of like playing Tetris, but... Like, I don't actually need to, to do it like that. But it's still like that. I need to use it. Um, actually, you know what? Oh, uh, I could connect them from the top. So I could connect all of those. So, ones are gonna go like these two are gonna go here and this one's gonna go here the way they're assembled right now um all of that they're all stuck together uh so i think i can make get all that what does it say Start movement mode, pause actors while rotating, lock rotation, always face towards motion, lock rotation, I think that's the right one, let's, let's try it out, let's push it there, great, uh, where am I trying to send that, I don't remember, Ah, everything's wrong. Hello, Devin. How you doing, buddy? Don't do it like that. That will break. What's gonna break? Can do that. I can do whatever I want. How you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I 
Dang it. Uh, now it's stuck. Uh, what should I do? How can I move that? Why? It's intense music. Yeah. It really is. Um, oh, I can just move it with a bucket. Oh, that was... Okay, not that big of a deal. Not that bad of a deal. Let's just move it until it gets on the track. Perfect. Went a bit too far. Move here. And then you go there. Perfect. So now they're all in place. <laughs> you went to here earlier, but got distracted. That's not a problem. Don't worry about any of that. You're here now, and that's what counts. And of course, like you're you're here if you can. There's no there's no obligation or anything. Um there's one thing I'm a bit worried about. It's if it's gonna turn around when I unlock it or when I disassemble it. So I'm gonna put a rail there just to give it that orientation. Give it the same orientation that it had earlier and yes it worked. Now let's just remove all of that glue from my gems. Let's break all that. I'm just gonna need to move this one here. I can't break amethyst crystal thingies with the wrench. That wouldn't really make much sense. Um, so this one's gonna go there. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna remove it. Make sure putting it in the right direction. Count von Count. That, that sounds like someone who does count. Yes. name was Count Von Count, but my my initial thought was his name was Count Chocula, but that's not a Sesame Street thing. I feel, I feel like that's just a brand of cereal. But I might be mistaken, I've been mistaken once or twice in my life already. Um, so what am I making? I am making cereal, yeah. Uh, so I have this geo that's kind of in the way of my uh, my machine, my uh, tunnel bore, I think it's called. My thingy that just breaks blocks for me because I'm too lazy. Uh, so uh, this geode was in the way, so I'm gathering just eight amethyst buds to uh, bring them back home. Uh, the thing is, I cannot... Normally, I could be able to just grab that and, like, grab the cart contraption. So basically, that's a cart assembler. I think you might have seen it uh, when I made the tunnel that um, that uh, links to the, uh, the villager area. But yeah, that's a cart assembler. And uh, it, it assembles cart contraptions. So basically, I attached all these uh, budding amethysts to the contraption, so I can now move it around like that. And let's just that I can disassemble it, and now we got eight eight amethysts uh, or eight budding amethysts stuck together. Here, um, that I could bring back home whenever I want to. 
the, the only sad thing is that, uh, yeah, I can't just put it in my inventory. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that, but yeah, I, I, I don't know how exactly. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but Kali, uh, fellow server member, uh, brought some uh, some spawners from uh, well somewhere under her base to the like inside her base, so she has a, uh, a zombie spawner. Um, but I don't know how she moved the spawners, other than just like grabbing them in the contraption and moving the contraption around. Like and, and and like without putting it in her inventory. Uh, but yeah, it allows you to to collect spawners. Yes, that's a super cool thing. It allows you to uh, grab all sorts of uh, all sorts of blocks uh, that you couldn't move normally, like those. So now we got eight. We saved eight. That's gonna be enough for the. Uh, for my base, and should I try to make a pathway somehow? Oh, actually, you know what? I could like use my actual contraption to make a passage towards my my base. Let's just go into shitty cam mode. So, like from here, if I dig out that way. Yeah, could connect with that tunnel and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I think. We got a plan, so I'm gonna go grab my little machine, drop some of that stuff back home. How do I get home? Uh, that's here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and having a better way to get here would really, really help. So the Sesame Street count is Count Von Count. That's a very tautological name. Kind of reminds me of Professor Professorson from Community. If if you've seen it, or if you've watched that show, um, one of my favorite episodes. So yeah, with the um, these uh, minecart contraptions, and the fact that we can grab um, can grab spawners and things like that, we had the um, we had a uh, wither skelly spawner because we you know it's modded, so of course there are wither skeleton spawners in the game, of course. Uh, so in the uh, previous iteration of the server. And uh, yeah, that won't work here. And yeah, we had a skeleton farm. And at some point, uh, someone grabbed the uh, wither skeleton spawner and brought it into the skeleton farm. So, uh, we had both regular skeletons and wither skeletons. For that, yeah. If you haven't seen Community? It's a good show. It's, uh, it was a bit, uh, I would say a bit early for what it, well, not, not exactly early, but it, it, it had a sad, sad kind of story, I, I would say, the story around the show. Like, it, it had mostly a target audience that wouldn't watch TV, but it was on TV, so it didn't get, like, very high ratings or uh, viewership, things like that. So yeah, it's a bit sad, but it was a great show. And they're working on a movie. Or the the, the only reason being like it was a meme within the show that there would be a movie. So yeah, now they're gonna get that show, possibly. 
just, um, it's really worth watching. Might not be for everyone's liking. But, uh, and you, you really have to, like, to truly get the uh, full potential of the show, you have to watch, like, all, I'd say almost all of season one. You truly, like, get what the show, get everything that it can be. There are uh, some episodes that became quite influential and that were of late season one. But yeah. Uh, it's still really, really worth it. So let's dig it up. Oh, that's good. Whoa! That was rude. in the hole now. Do libraries in your part of the world have books in both English and French? I would say I don't go to libraries a lot. I would say yes, they have books in both languages. How did it fall? Oh! Okay. Um, there are probably books in multiple languages, even like books in Spanish and uh, Italian and then I guess I'm not sure but I I would guess so. Music's a bit louder than me. Oops. Is that better? I kind of uh, changed as I switched songs so it might the, the difference might not be uh or it, it you, you 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 get what I mean. It might be because it's a different song that the volume is different. But anyway. Thank you for telling me that the music was loud. So, how have you been doing? What's, uh... Yeah, just to make sure it's not just the song. But yeah, what's, uh... What have you been up to? How's life? How's... The family? How's, uh, everything? job, the new uh, position at the, uh, at work. So, let's make the other minecart contraption to grab these these amethysts uh, can I power it from the side here no way you Cool. That could be a cool way to to make the farm. You just activate the uh, the contraption, the uh, the uh, assembler, so that they become entities. So that the uh, the budding amethysts become entities, and it breaks it breaks the uh, 
the shards, or the, not the shards, but the uh, thingies. It, it breaks the thingies. That's, that's what I'm gonna go for. Um, doing good, the new job is bleh. Oh, that's sad. Just one of those. Just put my head down and work and I will get promoted to something better. Yeah. Yeah. If you see it as a uh, stepping stone, it can help go through. Just the, one of the dangers of that is, is like, if you're expecting some kind of promotion and you never actually get it, that can be quite, uh, quite tough on the, uh, on the morale. Uh, you don't like your new bus. <laughs> You're 6'4", he's 5, or they're 5'5". Five, five. That's five five. It's um, yeah. Sounds like a cliche, but I I can get it. Give me a second. Okay, cool. Glad to know that. After six, no more, more than six months streaming. My uh mouse binding to uh, sneeze is uh, it's it's finally working um there's one thing I just kind of sort of realized it's that it's gonna be a bit hard to push the thing down that corridor and I, I don't want to make more rails than what I have now uh so we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna use that thing to make it just to make it uh make us a uh a tunnel I'm gonna push it a bit just give it some speed Let's start it all over again. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Weird machine. Oh, missed a message. Everyone in my department has been the rule for less than a year and the guys... Okay. Yeah, so it's a very high rotation department. Yeah, we had a department like that at work that used to have a very, very high uh, employee turnover rate. Is that the right term? Oh, gotta go make dinner, no problem. But yeah, that there was this one department that somehow everyone was running away from. I, th I think the uh, some of the issues have been solved, but yeah, it was a bit a bit scary. So when they're not self-propelled, they're quite slow. Oh, wow.
Come on. Move. Move. Is there a torch or something? Or... Why are you not moving? Come on. Go, go, go. You can do it. Why is it so slow? Dang it. Come on. Move your butt. There we go. That's it. Oh, again. I need a bit more. Read again. Come on. Oh, was going through a gravel patch, that's why. Yeah, those gravel patches are... are quite annoying. They make the machine go a bit too slow. Basically, it has to, uh, like it breaks, uh, every, block, uh, every block it breaks. Oh, I don't need to shift to break them, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, every time they break a block and the new one falls, you have to break the new one also, so when it's a big, big, big gravel patch, it's uh, can take a while to go through the whole thing. Well, that was literally just me being impatient. It's actually going pretty fast. Also, why? Ah, oh, that's a way. No, don't fall. Come on, come on, come on, don't fall. Slate. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go back. Fill it with deep slate because I'm using deep slate as my uh, my bridging block. So basically, how that thing works. Well, when I deploy it, I'll, I'll be able to explain a bit better how it works. But yeah, it's, it uses Deep Slate as a bridging block. So it places blocks in front of it to, uh, well, to have a block on which to place a, uh, the ring. Sorry. Hiccups. That's annoying. Um, but yeah, they, they, uh... Is there a big patch of Deep Slate somewhere? I'm just gonna go down there, a bit lower. Um. It should be long enough. So yeah, there's a bunch of deployers that can basically place anything, so these ones here, they will place deep slate exactly where that stone is, so if there's nothing they're gonna place, or uh, double deep slate I should say, um, so yeah, they're gonna place it if there's nothing, so that this second deployer here can place a rail uh, for the... Um, but for the cart to keep rolling, to keep rolling on, um, yeah, that's how that's how these uh, little things work. It's a really cool concept that we get to make things like that. Oh, there's some more from sight down here. That's good. That is good. Good to know.
That should be enough. Uh, okay, so like there was one piece of Grimsite. Ah. Uh, that's annoying. False hopes like that. Unacceptable. Oh, there's some more here. Probably again, like this one lone single block. Uh, let's head down a bit more. one single row of heaps like oh no there seems to be a bit more okay that's good we're good It's good to know that there's still some site left around here because it's it's a cool looking block and I'm I it suck having to uh, find some new uh, find a new uh, a new vein for that. Kind of far. Also, also we're gonna have to. I hadn't thought of that, but we're gonna have to um, find a way to bring this up. Although I could put it in a bubble vader. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the best way to do things. Hopefully that doesn't mess too much. But I mean. Worst case scenario, I didn't break the the geode yet, so I could just get some more. <clears throat> okay, that's super slow. Oh, it doesn't seem to actually slow down. Does it have like a super high momentum or something? Like it's slow, but it it won't stop anytime soon. Maybe that's how it works. Let's give it a bit more of a push. And a bit more. There you go. That's going fast. Great.
I mean, I complain that it's not going fast, but it's catching up to the one making the tunnel, so it is going somehow fast. It's, it's not too slow for, for what we need. I'm gonna let it go for a second or two. I just need to go get some water and to uh, close my window. I'll be back in a second. And we're back. Okay. Forgot to specify it before moving around. Let's give it another push. No, to be honest, that's not exactly what I had in mind for tonight's stream. Uh, I thought it would take... It, it, I thought it would be a lot faster than that, but, you know. You know. Uh, these things happen. Oh, and there's another geode right here. A bit closer. It's alright, it's alright. Now these ones are closer than that geode, so... It's good. Oops, that was a bad move on my part, thought I could give it a bit of speed, but I forgot to uh, actually make it track. Also, did I leave some rails somewhere? I should have more than that. Feel like I should have more than that. Maybe I'll have some up there. No, I 
grab them all back. Where are my rails? I brought more than a stack. And I don't think I left that many getting caught in the uh in the uh the tunnel bore. Huh. Well, in either case we can always grab some. But yeah, I really feel like I've actually grabbed more. And I left it. So I can't even push. Can't even push the minecart. It will barely even move. Okay, we're almost there. Wait, are we actually? Okay, no. Uh, that's where it's gonna go. Okay. And that's... Wait, where do we need to go? That's where we need to go. Okay. Uh, oh. We're not too far from the, uh... The thingy there. The, uh... Bubble elevator. Welcome back, Dev. Welcome back. You haven't missed much. Um, I just uh, I've complained a lot about that minecart being super slow. And well, this one's being quite slow as well. And I feel like I'm running out of uh, running out of rails somehow and I'm not sure how they're disappearing from my inventory <laughs> you can see my uh, my cheap uh, cal farm that I'm basically using only for uh, only for uh, bone meal so I just like, grab the kelp Throw it in a composter and yeah, mix some bone meal. Oh, we're out of torches. I did not expect that. Uh, 
Um, I could actually put it back on the assembler. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Or, actually, you know what? Nah. Nah, let's go. It's okay, I'm gonna put the torches myself. It's not like I'm letting it run automatically without really looking at where it's going. But I thought I had like four stacks in there. Uh, one, two. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Come on, move. So stupidly slow. I just tackle it. It's gonna go faster. I don't think it really did anything. I said I would light up behind it. I kind of forgot to actually do it. Oops. Are we there yet? Yep, we are. Is it gonna break? Yeah, it's gonna break the stairs. Dang it! I can let it run for a few blocks and then I'm gonna break the rest manually. I don't need that big of an area to open up. Or at least I don't need an area that okay, this big. Won't be necessary. You like the episode? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a really cool mod. It, it really is. Uh, am I finding it hard to go back to normal Minecraft? Not exactly. I wouldn't say I find it hard to go back to the uh, vanilla game, but uh, like right now, uh, whoa, sorry, misclicked. Uh, right now, I'm I'm fully satisfied with with create. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna be focusing on that for a little while. Though I'm, oops, no, that was a bad thing that was badly done uh, what was I saying yeah I might uh, like I I, I want to stream more as I said so I might go back to my uh, my village uh, world I haven't played on there for uh, quite a long time actually so yeah might go back to that in a not so far future in like one of those streams that I do um is it gonna break that? Of course it's gonna break that. Dang it! Uh, sorry. Trying to do two things at once. Never works out great for me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, I just think it's a, it's a phase right now I'm into create. Eventually, I'm gonna be a bit more. I'm, I'm gonna go back to, to vanilla when I've done. Like I'm, I'm still. It, it's just it's new. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. It's it, it. It gets. You have like more. More interesting things. Like there, there's an appeal, from the fact that it's new. So. Yeah. Uh, what's my streaming schedule going to be? I'm gonna try, try, and stream once a week. Usually on the weekends. Might not happen every week, but, yeah. I'm gonna try and make it happen, like, 
every weekend saturday night like this that's a good time though i have a big day my saturdays are a bit uh like i have three classes i give three classes on saturday so it uh it can get a bit like I, I'm, I'm a bit tired i kind of had to force myself i uh I, I would have choked but I did think of choking. <laughs> yeah, weekend schools, yes. Um so yeah, maybe Saturday nights sometimes when when it ha can happen. Uh or like I won't be available next Saturday. I got something planned. Also, I really have to follow it to put some lights. Yes. It, it doesn't have any more torches. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, sometimes it might be like Sunday morning or Sunday Sunday afternoon. We'll see. So I'm the times that I've streamed on Sunday afternoons. It was not. It wasn't the best. Uh, somehow. I don't know, f streaming during the afternoon, I kind of feel like I'm, uh, uh what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I'm spending my entire day streaming when I do it, those uh, Sunday afternoons, because like Sunday morning, you, you never really do much, you just, you know. You know how how it is, just lazing around, and usually that's when I have my chores, like I clean the place on on Sunday afternoon. That's when I uh, clean my clothes. I do I, I do some uh, laundry, is the word I should be using, <laughs> uh, and that's you know all of those things. So I need to do it like in the morning. Uh, so if I have to uh, like go to the grocery store, I won't let the washer run while I'm outside. That's a very bad idea for everyone involved. Um, you know, all of those little things. So I kind of end up having to uh, do everything in the in the morning and and yeah. Like the, the day really flies by. Like, I, if I start streaming at 1 p.m. and I finish at 4, it's still just a, a three hour stream. So, yeah. So that's uh, all, all things to consider. Do you like streaming at night? Yeah. The thing is, I, uh, or at least until the end of the school year, I tend to get very tired at night. I, uh, I'm running on the, on very, very low energy. It's, it, it really sucks. So is the music still okay? Is it too low now? Sixteen weeks away? No, 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 no. Trust me, I've counted. My... The exam that I give is gonna be on the 19th of June. That was okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um... What was I saying? Oh! We're too far already. Come back, you. Okay. Perfect. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, my exam is going to be on the 19th of June. And I forgot to check. That's where I have to go. 
and uh, the students that might come to see me between between classes or uh, between exams like there was only one potential exam where they could come and see me so yeah it's it should be fine I uh uh, wait, what did I just say? Basically, the, the students that could come see me between exams, there's only one after the 19th that they could come and see me for, so I might have to go to work on the 20th. Not sure if I said things that made sense, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, might finish on the 19th with, with well, of course, obviously with major corrections because you know end of year exams did it go did it is it yes ah uh, that's so cool okay i'm super happy and 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 we have diamonds i mean that's a sign <laughs> that's Perfect. Ah, perfect, perfect. Also, I, uh... Keeping with my, my job, uh, I, I learned that I would be, uh... I, I would have to bring some uh, disappointing news to, uh, to my boss, to the principal. Because, uh, apparently there are a lot, a lot lot of openings in the school district uh, the amethysts they went up the bubble elevator that I have here so uh, yeah there they are but yeah they uh, there's a a lot of openings apparently and uh, I was apparently, not, well, not expected to take one, but, uh, like, they would have really liked if I had to. But I'm, I'm not gonna. But yeah, I heard the number of, of openings, and, and it's, uh, like, never seen before situation, so... Hard times for for the schools here, sadly. Dang it! Do I have to speak French? Yes, it's it's a uh, it's the language that people speak here. <laughs> I do sometimes help people in English, sometimes, but it's quite rare that they come see me for. Or English, they usually come see me for math and science. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the teaching language. That, that's the language that we use when we teach. When most people work, even. Okay, you, you, oh, see, see how dumb I get, <laughs> yeah, streamer, streamer brain, I guess, we're gonna call it that. Yeah, you would have to speak French, though there are some English schools. But, uh, there are some. But I'm, I'm not sure if, like, the teachers... <laughs> Bonjour la classe, je m'appelle Monsieur Valjean. That's exactly how I introduce myself. Exactly. 
exactly, exactly how it's how it happens every morning. But yeah, I'm I'm not even sure if the teachers like in the teacher rooms if they speak together in French or in English in the English schools. They speak in English to the students, of course, but uh, like bit, um, amongst each other. I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna empty it. So we have this little station here that I made. I didn't show it on camera. Uh, it's it's gonna be eventually one of my streaming projects, um, which I might I might do tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, we got this thing here. It spits out the items. So all the items that the machine collected are getting spat out into that and they are getting sent oops, here into my uh, my sorting system for all my bulk storage and yeah it's going on loop that's perfect yeah and we have this oops, this I can get it from here this part here where I can put my uh, torches and uh, rails back in. Well, I'm not sure how many I had. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna disassemble it when it's done emptying. So I could disassemble it, empty it by hand. Nah, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Um, let's work on moving the amethysts around. Uh, how do I get the items when I have the interface for a specific block? Well, this takes out everything. I have this filter here that uh, uh, prevents uh, torches and um, rails from getting out. But other than that, it everything gets out of this uh, from this funnel here. Is that what you meant? Like everything gets out. Oh, in in the storage room itself. Okay, yeah. Um, I did show it pretty quickly, but uh, this last conveyor belt here, it, I can switch it around. So if I flick this lever, now it's going towards this vault here, and now, just in time, it's going back into the loop. So basically, the blocks that either get uh, get pushed back because the system's overflowing, um, they can go back in the loop. So I let it run for a few goes, like cobble. Right now, like I got lots of cobble on that run because it was all stone, and yeah, so it's all going there, like so. Or did you mean something else? Did I again not understand what you meant? <laughs> Where I pick up the box? So like you mean like from the uh, the depots here, from these funnels here? So we well we can see it if I like in this one there is only these four types of items. Uh, so if I pick some of the soapstone and I remove the uh, the filter. I just click it with an empty hand. And now it's it, it's gonna randomly spit out other types of blocks. So now it's limestone, limestone again. Sorry, had to sneeze. So yeah, we can get all the other types of items. Uh, so yeah, it it, it will select them randomly basically so just had to make sure that there was nothing that shouldn't be in there that got in there that one here uh it's not random it's these four so it's soapstone limestone uh scoria and scorcha so we with four four different filters you can you can put four different types of item here and choose which one you get i'm just gonna 
and all of that into the system now. So yeah, that's how you... Uh, Uh, the one to the left of the leader. Yeah, that's the, uh, like, everything that didn't go through. So I think I could switch it around. Like, we got basalt. There's no basalt storage here. Um, the gravel should still be there. So I'm just gonna... Well, I, mean, I can't always put them back in the system. So if I flick this lever here, now it's going that way. It's gonna go into this funnel, it's gonna get pushed up. And we're gonna see that piece of redstone dust appear here. Hey, there it is. Hello, redstone. And like everything else is gonna go in there. So when I remove the redstone, if there's something else. See, flint. And now it's empty. So nothing's going out. And so when the new items go in, so like we got a diamond, then there's copper. There's gonna be a few items in. Yeah, yeah, basically it's the bulk overflow. Uh, well, not exactly overflow, because well, it, it, if it overflows and it's sent that way, it's gonna end up there. But it's for the um, non-sorted item. Yeah, uh, you're kind of expl uh, implying that I didn't explain it well that then. <laughs> I I did mention it like at some point, but uh, it, it was very quick compared to the rest. Uh, I don't need my shovel in my hand. And I don't need that. There we go. Now it's empty. And yeah. Great. Uh, I'm gonna put this diamond here. Ooh, I can get block. I'm gonna where's my fortune pick? I'm gonna fortune this one here. Ooh, four! That's nice. That is cool. Uh, all of that into blocks. Uh, where's my... Oh wow, I got a lot of copper. Uh... Yeah, this storage is... Uh, it's already quite full. Here, I think yeah, I don't have room for for gravel, so let's put this here. I'm gonna have to rearrange some things. Yeah, that can go here. It's like the worst storage I've ever had. <laughs> Yeah, you're used to having a GUI. Sorry, I missed that message. Um, yeah, it, it, it's 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 interesting to uh, it's an interesting way to uh, to store items. You need me to come make you a storage system on the other server? No, that's not that that you deserve better than that. I'm gonna say it like that. You deserve better. I'm horrible at storage. I, I usually just have a bunch of chests where I put my stuff. I usually don't care about automatic storage. and th This one's just because we had an interesting mechanic to play around with. Make the... Uh, make the... Um, the bulk storage. Other than that, like I wouldn't have played around with it. But where's the... Bus Did I? Oh, right. I had this extra chest here. Um, everything is in shulker boxes. 
Yeah, I, I totally understand. All right, well, have a good dinner, buddy. I'm gonna grind these ores. Sorry, I don't have anything to say. The only sounds that can come out of my mouth times like these is just to sing. But I can sing, so yeah, it's just horrible. Horrible experience for everyone involved. And I'm sorry about that. Wait for my crushed ores. So I'm eventually gonna make a better smelting system than this one, but uh, so far it's uh, it's all right. It it does what it what we needed to do. Nothing more, but it still does what we needed to do. <laughs> Come on, thank you. Put the lava back in the chest. Also, that's empty, so we can. Assembler here. Can I place it here? Okay, perfect. Uh, so, how many rails and porches do we have? Okay. Do we have anything else hidden in the wrong chests or the wrong barrels? So we're gonna need to make a few torches. How did I just pronounce torches? Churches? Why do I pronounce words weird like that? We got 15 deep slate ore. That's really cool. It's super rare. Super happy with that. But also, these chests and barrels, I need to find them a place, which is gonna be here. A good place to put them. Um, and my XP nuggets. I'm gonna put them here. Uh. need my lever because I need to reassemble this good 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 oh and I need to put that one piece of rail back in place keep sneezing that's super annoying sorry about that um but yeah it's uh, it's it's weird i have to put this rail here because if i just place the um the contraption here the drill here it won't connect to that for some reason but if i place it here and then push it in place then it goes in the right place. 
super weird. But yeah, that's uh, that's why I have to do things like that. Uh, that would be four stacks of torches. That's good. Let's just make those torches. Like so. And then we can... Actually, we, we're just gonna go move the... Uh, the amethysts around a bit. Uh, what would be the best way to move them around? It's gonna obviously involve some rails. Uh, without rails, we won't really go far <laughs> with the uh, with that with that project. That's uh, I'm also gonna need a minecart. Really, we're recovering the basics here. And I'm gonna need another block. I'm gonna use dirt. Because you break dirt with a shovel and you break those with a pick. Did I drop my glue? Glue, come back in my inventory. Come on. Okay, they're all still glued together, so... Again, I still can't believe I can just... ...wrap them like that. Um... Also... I leave them there, I can leave one of those here. was a bad decision. Didn't break the right one. Okay. Now it's in the right place. Not in the right direction, but in the right place. Still. Uh, come on. Oh, I can still push it. Back already? Man, that was fast. Did you taste your food at least, or? I brought dirt for that specifically. <laughs> A speedy thing to watch on me. Is that what you're gonna teach your kids, or? <laughs> Because I might have some comments about the priorities that you uh, that you have. <laughs> okay, I can put it here and okay, perfect. No, oh, that was stupid. We don't need them one block apart. We need them two blocks apart. Dang it. Ah, that was... <laughs> that was stupid. Thank you. 
Okay. Take two. You're a fast eater. I, uh, yeah, I, I used to eat super slow, and my brother ate super fast. And now somehow it's it kind of turned the opposite, and I'm not sure why, like how that change happened. But yeah, that uh, that did change somehow. Like seriously, sometimes like especially at work, like I'm eating with people, and I don't understand why I eat so fast, and I yeah. It's super weird. Yeah, it's gonna be easier. If I if I power the machine. So everything's glued together. Perfect. Why did it go super fast the previous time and super slow this time? Why? Come on. Okay. Uh, so... Let's place them... Here-ish. Ah, oh, crap. Wrong way. I need to set it up properly before I send it. Before I assemble it. Okay. Now I can rotate it around. Ah, oh, come on. No. Also, don't... Be like that. Uh... What about here? Come on. Why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Gonna lurk for a minute. No problem at all. Okay. Now, just need to send it the other way around. What? Why did you do that? Why did you... Okay, now it's going back. It's going back too far. Ah, that's annoying. Ugh. Okay. And of course, now it's super slow. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm gonna need the minecart to stop here. Oh. Can you stop yelling, Cupid Clouds? No one likes you. place yeah yeah that's perfect okay let's just, just before everything moves for no good reason let's just remove all of that then we're gonna 
move that here. Gonna be here instead. Going that way. Okay. Put this here. Should work. Some power. Ah, dang it. Wait, how did I miscount that? Ah, that's weird. Uh, put this back here. I, I just, I really want them to just be two blocks apart. The exact minimum distance. Uh, we're gonna move them. Back there. And now we need to stop here. So lock here. And it won't move. Of course. Of course. Of course. Actually, you know what? Didn't even need that lock. I didn't need it anymore. Did need it at some point. Now, let's just stop and count. One, two. But that's two blocks in between them, right? Okay. And one last go. If they end here, there'll be two blocks in between. Oh, that's how I counted three. Yeah, I get it. I get my mistake now. I understand what I did. Although it's a bit too close, I'm. I'm gonna keep this one here. There are these ones here. It's the others that I'm gonna move. I move the entire thing. So all of those. I'm gonna get glued together. I feel like it's gonna go wrong somehow. That, that, perfect. So now, we go away by two blocks. So this one goes here, goes here. So it needs to stop here. And now, hopefully, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be perfect. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's great. That is great. We now have 
Well, it's not really an amethyst farm, but you know, close enough. We got a bunch of a uh, bunch of budding amethysts in the base, so we're gonna get all the amethysts we need. Which, or, or actually, we're, we're gonna get more than we need because we don't really need all that much amethysts ever. Um. Let's put this back here, and uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Uh, it's nine. I uh, didn't sleep that well last night, so I, I'm gonna go to bed quite early. I think I'm gonna, yeah, not gonna go to bed right away. Of course, I still have a few things that I want to do, but I won't. Stay up too late, so I think that's gonna be the end of the episode. But before we end, we really have to see the house in action. <laughs> Hello, Hocus Pocus. Yes, good night. Have you seen my house? Look at that. That's my house with a secret elevator. It came in just just at the right time. I'm sorry about that. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, that's my my little house. It's empty, completely empty. There's nothing in there. But 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 press the button. It splits open, and there's an elevator here. Go down the elevator. We can see the house closing on us. About there. I love this mod so much. Do you know a lot about Create mod? Or about what? Well, it's just called Create. The, the mod called Create. Yeah, there's so, so many cool stuff to do with that. But this morning I released an episode where I built that thing, that uh, elevator, and the house, oh you're on bedrock, ah, yeah, if you ever want to play with that, it's it's really really worth it, but yeah, yeah, so many cool things moving around and, and so much life, but yeah, in, in my episode, I really, the, the episode that I released this morning, I built that house and the elevator, and that machine here, so that's a sorting system for a bulk storage. Got all the blocks that we're gonna get loads of stored inside those vaults. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool mod. Lots of fun things. Hey, thanks! <laughs> it worked! I managed to, to uh, advertise my stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, as I was saying, sadly, that's going to be it for today's stream. So thank you so much for showing up. Everyone who did, really, really appreciate it. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye-bye. Have a good rest of your day or your evening or whatever. See ya. <laughs>